Hello and welcome to the third video in the Python Hedera Hashgraph video that I'm putting together. And if you've been following along, you'll know now that I'm doing this playlist to help you as a Python developer learn to code on Hedera Hashgraph. So I've done a couple of videos before this and it's just setting up machines and setting up um, or installing the necessary libraries that we can actually work with a Java SDK because it's very early doors with Hedera Hashgraph. We haven't got all of the necessary SDKs for all languages, so we're gonna to have to make do. But let's get ahead of the game and let's get Python developers up and running and building web apps using Hedera Hashgraph. So you can essentially start transferring their native cryptocurrency, which is HBAR, for products and services. That's what we're trying to do. And this is the third video. The first two videos were all setting up, all about setting up our machine and pip installing the necessary libraries so we can actually get started. Nothing fancy, but in this video, we'll actually be creating or setting up a new client, which is the first step on the Hedera docs, which we'll be referencing throughout this video. So before we jump into the video, if this is the first time you've visited this channel, then please like the video, please subscribe, and click the bell so you are notified every time I add a new video to the channel, normally about three or four times a week. And also give me a comment because I love to hear some feedback and it kind of directs me into the, what direction I'm going to go with this channel. On that topic, we're looking for a bit of support to grow this channel. So if you're feeling generous, you've got deep pockets and you just want to be just nice, there's a link to my Patreon page in the description below. And there's also, just in keeping with a the playlist, there's a link to my HBAR wallet. So if you want to transfer me some HBAR just to help me out, get me going, then you're more than welcome. So let's got that out of the way. Let's jump straight into it. Look at my screen. It opens straight up on the Hedera.com website. So it's docs.hedera.com. This is what we'll be referencing throughout the next few videos. And um, unfortunately, like I say, there's no SDK for Python, so we'll be looking at the Java SDK and trying to configure a uh, network. So configure your Hedera network. That is testnet for this tutorial, but there's a main net, which is the live um, production uh, network. And there's also a preview net as well, but we'll be configuring it for testnet. So we'll be going through this, looking at these docs. Uh, if we keep scrolling down, what we get to is, this is the Java first part, so we need to um, set up a client network, uh, which is client.testnet, so we'll be doing that in, uh, but we'll be writing it in uh, Python. I'll show you how to do that. It's also got uh, SDKs for JavaScript and Go and .NET, so it goes through these. Second point will be defining the operator account ID and private key. We did that in the first video, so the operator key is the, no, operator account ID, sorry, is your wallet ID. So that is what has been saved as operator ID in the very uh, environment variables. And the private key is exactly that. We got those both, both off the Hedera portal. So look at the first video, link to which is just up here. So that's the second point, and we have to just set them as, so from account ID dot from string. Again, I'll show you how to do all of this. Uh, we're not doing a dot env file, so don't worry about that and uh, this goes in a little bit more detail. So we need to set an operator. So we'll need to do that in Python as well. And then we've got some additional client modifications. So in this, this is where we, um, so actually it's this piece of code that we'll be focusing on really. So it's, we're setting the network. So it's client.testnet for testnet and it's client.set operator. And this is the ID and the operator key. So this is what we need to do to configure a client and a network in Python and we need to do it. And we'll test it using a command prompt as well uh, before we're done. And that is all we need to do. So this is, uh, this site, sorry, this page, this URL is docs.hedera.com slash guides slash docs slash SDK slash client. So this is build your Hedera client. That's what we're gonna do. Right, so first things first, let's open up my text editor, which You'll know now I use um, Sublime Text. So what I'll do, I'll open up, uh, no I won't, I'll open up CMD. So this is a CMD, it's just opened up in development. Um, what we need to do is, we'll need to fire up our virtual environment, right? So I'll just click here. 
So if you remember, we need to do work on, so this is the uh, Python command to fire up the virtual environment. And we set it up as Hedera demo. And was it underscore? No, there you go, Hedera demo. So that's now working. So uh, what we'll do is we will create a directory called Hedera demo in my development directory. So it's mkdir and we'll call this head error dash demo. Then we'll cd into head error dash demo. And we will then open up sublime text in that new directory. So what I'll do, I will uh, go into there. Oh, here we go, I've done it. So what I'll do, I'll drag it across using two screens and I don't like to waste too much time editing these videos so it's a little bit clunky sometimes as you'll already know so this is you can see I've got this open in Hedera demo so this is the directory nothing going on it's not not like we've uh, pip installed Django into the virtual environment and then start a new project which sets up a whole bunch of directories this is just Python that's all we're doing so we need to add some files so what we'll do, we'll save this first file as get client. And we'll save as, and we'll call this get client.py. So get client.py. So we'll be referencing this file in other files that we'll be building out in the following tutorials, but this is the get client file. So let's let me look at my notes. So if we go back into Hedera and if we look at what they're doing in the SDK here, so it's got a whole list of different um, methods. So we've got for preview net, for test net. This is what we want in here. So it's client.forTestNet. It constructs a Hedera client pre configured for test net access. So that's what we're using. Obviously, we've got the main net and the preview net. We don't need that. Um, and then we've got the network, which is what we will be doing. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a few moments. You've got for JSON. We won't be using any of these methods in this tutorial and set mirror node. We're not going to be doing that this, uh, this either. So what we need to do, let me have a look here. We, uh, for test net. So we've got, we've got client. So yeah. So what we need to do, we need to firstly import a uh, client from the, um, the library that we pip installed in the last tutorial. So if you remember in that last video, link to which is just up here, what we did, we opened up some, uh, one of the PY files that come with the library and it was using a library that converted Java classes into Python classes. So what we need to do, we need to now import some of those classes to make this work. So straight off the bat, we need to import client. If you remember, I referenced this in the last tutorial. We also need to import account ID, and we also need to import private key as well. So these are three classes that are currently in the um, library that we installed using pip. So we'll bring that into the, uh, the py file that we've got here. We also need to import OS, the operating system, because if you remember, we added our account ID, a private key, and a public key to our environment variables, and you access those in Python using OS operating system. So we will import OS, and then what we want to do is from Hedera, and we've installed that into our um, virtual environment, so it is there, from Hedera, import, and we want client, we want account ID, and we want private key. Yeah, there we go. That is it. Now, in the uh, there's some example files in if you go to PYPI for the uh, Python SDK that we went through in the last video. And uh, I'm referencing that quite a lot when I'm doing this code. It's very, very helpful to use that to have a look at what other people are doing. So, um, but it's got a lot of stuff in there we don't necessarily need for this tutorial, so I won't be doing that. All we'll be doing in this tutorial is we will be um, setting up the network and we'll be setting the operator for client. And then we'll test it in CMD just to make sure that the client works. So what we'll do is we will um, create the operator ID. So I'm looking at my notes here. So what I'll do, 
So I would call this op ID. And we want to do, let me just look at the notes on Hedera. Uh, so we're using dot from string, which is one of the methods that we're doing here. So from string, so the account ID and the private key and the public key is currently a string. So from the string, it will convert into an account ID that can be used for the SDK. So we will uh, go back into my Python file and we will go account ID dot from string, so it's all camel case, and OS, and you access the environment variables in OS with environ, so environ, and uh, we use a keyword, and that keyword, if you remember in the tutorial, we called it operator ID, so operator <laughs> ID, just have a look at that. Yeah, that's right. So the, do you know what? Let's call that operator ID as well. Operator ID. So there we go. So that's the operator ID. That's being, it's using the account ID from string. So it's, it's getting the uh, account number that we got from the uh, portal on Hedera and it's converting it into, saving it as a variable, converting it into something that we can use uh, with the SDK. So account ID is the first one. The next one that we need is uh, the operator key. So same process, except this time, rather than account ID, we wanna be using private key. And make sure you're referencing the right keyword, which in this case is key. There we have it. So we've got the operator ID and your operator key. So if we go back to the docs, you can see that that's exactly what they're doing there. So it's the operator ID here, um, and the network that they're configuring is client dot for testnet. So we'll do that in a second. Um, bah, 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 bah. What have we got here? So this is where this part here on the docs, which we looked at a moment ago, this is where it's doing the uh, operator ID. Uh, sorry, the uh, account ID from string. So you can see here. That's the uh, account ID that you get from the portal, and this is the private key that you save into your uh, uh, environment variable so that's what we've just done there we now need to set up the um, network so to do that what we need to do is a client equals yeah there we go let's do it straight in there so client equals client which is the class that we're pulling in from Hedera and then it's dot for testnet we're not going to look at mainnet or um, preview net in this tutorial we're just going to do this so in fact I can probably just do that there we go copy and we'll go client and we just go paste. So client equals client for testnet. There we go. And then underneath that, what we need to now do is we need to set the operator, which I believe is in the docs just a little bit further down here. So here's where we set the operator. So what we're doing here, we're doing additional client modifications and this is it now. So we've set the client, client equals client for testnet. And here we're setting the operator and this is where we're using the operator ID and the operator key, which we've just set as variables. So I can just copy that. And I can just save that, oh, sorry, paste that here. Client equals, oh no, we need, um, no, that is it. That is it, that's all we need to do. So if I say, I won't need that. So if I now save that file, and if I go back into CMD, there's a way of testing this now. So what we'll do is we'll just use a command PY to open up the Python uh, built-in shell. And we can then run commands, right? So if we go PY, so yeah, from get client, import client. There we go. That's all we need to do. So what that's doing, is doing a little program in the background. It's just configuring it. It's talking to um, or through via Hedera, which we've imported, uh, and it's just talking with the SDK. And you can see that that has actually worked. So I've imported client. The code that we've added to um, this Python file actually works. So it's bringing in the account ID, the private key. It's setting a network, and then it's setting the operator for the uh, uh, communication. So it's creating a client, so we can now communicate to the Java SDK. And that is the first step on the docs. 
you can see that the next step after this is to um, network address book. So we'll go through that in the next tutorial or we'll go through some other bits and pieces of the docs in the next tutorial. So that is it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, again, we didn't do too much, but I'm just walking you through the docs and I'm just showing you how to work with Python whilst reading Java. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I say, if it's the first time to this channel, then please click the like, please subscribe and please click the bell so you're notified every time I add a video. But for now, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.